Hello, this is Kaylin Huntress, and today I'm going to show you how to send Bitcoin to another person's wallet and why you shouldn't use Bitcoin. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to send $100 worth of Bitcoin from my Coinbase account to my wife's Coinbase account. I'm also going to take $100 worth of Bitcoin, sell it and turn it into Litecoin, and send that to my wife's Coinbase account. I'm gonna measure the time that it takes for each of these coins to get there and the cost of the fees so that you can see why sending Bitcoin isn't really a good idea. Now, Bitcoin is the original cryptocurrency and as such, it has some structural inefficiencies that have been overcome by subsequent coins. Bitcoin's really expensive to verify on the blockchain, and it's really pricey and it's super slow. So because of that, it makes it really cumbersome to send Bitcoin. It's oftentimes even less expensive to sell the Bitcoin and put it into another coin and send it with that. So we'll measure both of those today. I'm here in my Coinbase account, and uh, I've got most of my money in Coinbase or in Bitcoin because I've been receiving some referral bonuses from Coinbase for telling people about Coinbase. And so, if you find this video helpful, then please use my affiliate link to sign up for a Coinbase account. There's a link in the description below. You can go to StellarPlatforms.com/Coinbase. Using these links supports me in creating these tutorials and makes it so I can keep teaching you about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. So, thanks for your support, everybody who's been using my links. Okay, so I've got uh, $388 worth of Bitcoin at today's price. Right now, it's just over $11,000. And so I wanna, I'm going to start by sending $100 worth of Bitcoin from my account to my wife's account. My, I've got Coinbase open in a new tab, in an incognito tab, so that I can have her account open at the same time that I have my account open. I also need to use a VPN because at the moment I'm out of the United States, but my all of my accounts are registered in the United States. That's where I do my banking, that's where I pay my taxes. However, Coinbase doesn't really like it when you're out of the United States, and so if you need to mask your IP address because you're outside of the country where you're registering, then you can use Strong VPN. I like them a lot. There's a link for that in the description below too. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so in order to transfer Bitcoin, what, you're gonna, what you want to do is go to your Bitcoin wallet. And it's pretty simple here. You just click send and you have to enter a BTC address. All right, and I'm gonna follow these steps a little bit in reverse in my wife's account. I'm gonna go to accounts and receive, okay? And it gives me a warning, only send Bitcoin to this address and then it'll show you the address. I'm gonna select the whole thing and copy it over here. I'll come back to my account and paste it, all right? Now, if you want to send someone this unique string of gobbledygook, this is what they can send the Bitcoin to. You need this unique identifier to send the Bitcoin to it. You can't send any other coin. You can't send Ripple or Ethereum or Litecoin or anything to here because it won't get through. Only Bitcoin can be sent to a Bitcoin address, all right? I'm going to send $100 USD. And the fee on this is $5.60. And so Coinbase is going to charge me $105.60. I'll click continue. And then it's going to ask me for a two-step verification. Now I use Google Voice for all my verification. So that way I don't have to have my mobile phone handy. And look at that, it's right there, 8406833. And I'll just type it right in here. I find Google Voice to be a really easy solution to getting SMS verification. So if you're trying to figure out, you know, like if you change phone numbers or if it, I, I got a Google Voice account before I moved to Costa Rica and, as uh, my US based number and I've just used, I've used it for nine years and it's been great. So uh, Google Voice is a great way to do uh, verification. I highly recommend it. All right, so I've sent 0 0.0089 Bitcoin to an external address. If I want to view the details, I could see it on the blockchain. It's going to take a while. Right now it's seven. 6 p.m. local time. And so now I'm going to get moving on uh, selling $100 worth of Bitcoin so I can send Litecoin to my wife. Coinbase has some of the highest fees in the industry. So they are really going to hose me on these fees. I'm going to deposit uh, to my USD wallet $100 worth of Bitcoin. 
And I'm just gonna do 100 and 100 so that we can compare the numbers, apples to apples, easy peasy. And so I'll sell, sell Bitcoin instantly. It's gonna take out $2.99 for the fee. So I'll end up with $97.01. I'll confirm the fee and then go back to my dashboard. And so you can see here that I now have $97.01 in US dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and buy as much Litecoin as I can with that. So I'll go to buy sell, I'll stay in the buy, and I'll click Litecoin. My payment method is my USD wallet, and I will buy the max, all right? And there's a fee here of $2.99, so I'll end up with $94.02. Buy Litecoin instantly. Confirm buy. Boom, okay, so now I have some Litecoin. And I could see exactly how much Litecoin I have. 0.5224. I'm going to copy this, go over to my wife's account, and in Coinbase from the dashboard, you go to accounts, and I'm going to go down to the LTC wallet and click receive and show this address. All right. So I'm going to copy this and come on back to my account. And on accounts, I'm going to click send. I'll enter the LTC address and then I will send the max. Look at this fee right here. It's four cents. A four cent fee for Litecoin. It is 7.08 p.m. local time. Continue. Again, I need two-step verification. I'll just wait for it to show up in the corner. There it is, 9475850. Boom, confirm. Aha, my verification code is in error. I've noticed sometimes Coinbase will send multiple verifications. It might just be my account, uh, but I know that because they're under such heavy strain, there's a lot of people getting into crypto right now. Uh, the servers are messing up. You can see my name is messed up over here in the corner. It used to be Kaylin McTavish Huntress, and then for some reason it changed to Kaylin DeLactavish Tuntress. I don't know why, I put in a ticket to support a couple weeks ago and uh, it's, it's a weird change that my account did and it's not going back. So um, be patient. When you're doing things with, uh, with cryptocurrency exchanges right now, they are under tremendous load because lots of people are wanting to get in on cryptocurrency and more people are signing up than they can really handle. And so a lot of times you find these kind of glitches and we just have to be patient and work around them. So now this is pending. And where is, oh, it's just giving me my Litecoin transactions. If I go to my BTC wallet, my, my Bitcoin is pending. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause and wait for these transactions to finish. And then uh, I'll compare the results and we can look at the numbers and see which is the best method for you. Okay, the Bitcoin has arrived, and it took a lot longer than the Litecoin. The Litecoin arrived almost instantaneously, and the Bitcoin took more than an hour. Uh, and so now I've recorded all the numbers. It took me, I, I went and played Dungeons and Dragons with the kids for a while, so I wasn't paying much attention, but I was able to look on when the email verification came in to get the timestamps to see when they landed. And here's what I found out. I sent the Bitcoin at 7.06 p.m., and it arrived at 8.13, so it was more than an hour. The Litecoin I sent at 709, and it arrived instantaneously. And so now I'm gonna look at the costs, all right? Now, the Bitcoin, I started with $100, and then it added this network fee of 526. So I went and I looked at how much did I get from the transaction? This is how much arrived in my wife's account. It was $99.66, okay? And so once I, I subtract the difference, that means that it cost me a total of $5.70. And when I divide out the total amount that I spent, this cost 5.4%. It was more expensive to do two trades to sell Bitcoin into Litecoin, or excuse me, it was Bitcoin to USD, USD to Litecoin, and then send it. When I did that, I ended up getting, let's see over here, a total of $93.49, all right? And so when I subtract that from the original $100 that I started with in Bitcoin, it cost me $6.51. So this cost 6.5%. It was faster, but it was more expensive because I started in Bitcoin. So if you're looking for the most economic, economical way to do this, I recommend USD to LTC. If you're going to buy in Coinbase, 
don't buy Bitcoin, buy Litecoin. Because if I had started with $100 in USD and I bought Litecoin, I'd pay the Coinbase fee and the network transaction fee. It would work out to $4.50 or 4.5% to send to somebody else. So these are the numbers I found for sending Bitcoin. Just one transaction is 5.4%. Trading Bitcoin into Litecoin and sending it is 6.5%. Buying Litecoin with US dollars and sending that to someone is 4.5%. And it's much faster. Litecoin is faster and if you do it right, it's less expensive than Bitcoin. But if you already have it in Bitcoin, it can be more expensive to send it to Litecoin and that, because you have two transaction fees on Coinbase to go through. But if you need something immediate, let's say you're, you're on an exchange and you want to get in on an altcoin, sending a Bitcoin there is, is going to take some time. I've seen it take 18 hours for a Bitcoin transaction to get through. So Litecoin is much faster. It, and if you're willing to take the extra percent, then you could do the transactions to get an immediate transaction. Um, but if you're just transferring money from US dollars into, let's say, your Litecoin account so that you can send it to somebody else, that seems to be the most fee-free way to do it. And so that's been my tutorial on how to send uh, cryptocurrency to someone else's wallet. If you like this video, give it a like, give it a subscribe. Please use my affiliate links. I've got some uh, exchanges that I like in the description below. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Have fun out there.